The house on our right. Oh, that's a upper chopper, full one. Yeah. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Most common question in my stream is how did you got to level 95 and how come you have so much money? Well the answer to that question is really simple though. I use the uh, combination of perks, loadout and appearance to maximize my yield of XP and money. Now, what I do, and I have to stress to you as well, is I, I am somebody who is constantly inside the AO. I am trying to get points for my, uh, for my team. I am trying to transport them if it's possible. Um, and I am usually playing, and this is one and first factor, I am not recording this on first person server only, but I am usually playing on first person server uh, only. Which means that at the end of the round, I get the double XP for the end game bonus. Now, if we get straight to it, the first thing I, if you noticed, and what I do, I always run with launcher. Uh, so the main equip equipment for me inside the AO or part of the equipment is the launcher. Now I know you're not able to get the launcher at low levels but trust me work for that. If nothing else you are able to get one thing at the beginning after you unlock the second perk and that is explosive. Now with the explosive perk you gain, and I'm gonna scroll because I can't go into my inventory inside the spawn zone, is the explosive satchel. Now what the explosive satchel means, you will not get the lucky kills inside the AO just placing it or anywhere, but you can actually run to a vehicle that it's parked, and of course the vehicle that it's from the opposite team and you put a satchel down next to it. You run away and you blow it off. Now, in case you see an enemy hammer truck, because there is time to time that somebody's gonna be actually driving a hammer truck to the AO, you will gain 500 XP. Now, 500 XP, that's not, not bad, right? That's five kills inside the AO. And as a beginner, you will pretty much rocking TRG, 5 kills in one life with a TRG? I don't think so. So, go for that parts of the AO that are usually controlled by enemy bases. If we look at Pygros, now, Blue 4... Uh, and I'm on the other servers. There's Sumatra and there's Code 4 Gaming. And in this case, let's just take a look at the AO on Sumatra. Now, Blue 4 is going to be coming with vehicles on this side. If you just parachute or come to this side, you will find a parked Blue 4 vehicle or an Op 4 vehicle on this side. And you just go to it, you blow it up. You're going to be already inside of the AO, which means. Meanwhile, you'll be running around searching for the vehicles. You will be gaining points by being there. Now, this is a advice. Keep in mind, don't be focused on the kills with a satchel. Just try to find them when you're running inside the AO anyways. So, this is the thing that's going to give you free points. You don't need to be skillful. Uh, with your shooting or anything, just that's gonna give you points. So this is the first perk that I'm saying. The explosive perk will also give you, and I have to change this, because we're talking about the TRG. If you're gonna keep on pressing F to switching the firing modes, you will see you will have the HE grenade or underbarrel grenade launcher. What, what that means, if 
it's gonna be hard for you to focus on the enemy players with just bare sights killing them with a 5.56 millimeter especially if you're going against the up four which is well known problem that they have way too good armor in this game and you will be really hard to kill them if you're not up for you still can kill them with a under barrel grenade launcher especially if they're crammed up together in a small house and especially if they're camping the towers so you just put a couple of grenade launchers i mean grenade grenades into the uh, towers and small buildings and you're good to go now what I do is I also go inside the priority zones. That means you're gonna you're gonna be gaining double XP in the prior zones. It's just logical. I don't think I need to explain this. Especially if you're in a good uh, tight group, uh, this is really good for you because you will be there is a bigger chance you will be getting revived. So therefore you will not be wasting your time transporting your ass back to the priority zone or into the AO. Now, if you're gonna, let's say that you listen to this advices, let's say, or let's say that you're high, high level already and you have problems making your money because you're wasting your money on transport, because you're not using the your friend transports or because you're buying yourself a helicopters going inside the AO dying each time and you're still not learning that it's better to buy a usual just a quillen buy it go to it find a couple of people transport them to the AO because because this they now in the last patch implemented the new scoreboard which means you will have kills you will have vehicles destroyed and we were talking about vehicles destroyed right with satchels and now we're gonna be talking about later on with launchers as you can see you were saw my launcher one of my launcher kill and please uh, take a look at uh, the other of my videos because I did a couple of compilations of just launcher kills that's something that puts me on top of i would say top five if not top three in each round i'm using a launcher you will have priority area bonuses which is now putting you up the scoreboard as well before that it didn't and you will have player delivered what we were talking just now and this is something that adds up everything at the end of the round which means that if you're gonna be a team player you will contribute to the whole end of the game bonus which will be, you will earn more okay so the next thing that we go back here to the change loadout is the launchers now there is which with RPG and with the MOS, there's always two types of launchers. One is HE, which is high explosive launcher. The problem is with the high explosive launcher, if you're gonna buy it, if you're gonna hit the HE launcher to a uh, park down vehicle as it's a uh, little bird uh, prowler, which is a, which has a bigger uh, armor and so on it will not blow up instantly so if you take in consideration you see a little bird flying down landing next to you you have a clear shot you'll shoot it with an HE it doesn't mean that it will blow up which means that all that personnel that is in that vehicle it will not die with it so you're wasting kills yeah, sure, it's amazing against the towers, cleaning out the towers, but two kills against five, six, seven, or a Mohawk kill, which is, goes up to 12 kills, it's nothing to comparison to high explosive anti-tank rounds. So go for those, 
trust me. Go for the RPG-7, or which is unlockable before the uh, moss, but I would, w I would just conserve my money for the RPG-7, and from there on I would buy moss. Uh, the PCML, it's a, all, a whole different thing. Uh, you're more than welcome to check out the, my PCML guide, uh, which is in my YouTube channel as well. But trust me, you're better off with this. And uh, yet again, let's do the perk system again, if you haven't stopped watching me again. Uh, is something that I also do later on in the higher levels. I remove the explosive because I don't need the satchel anymore. Because I'm a really pushy guy, I'm always pushing the prio, I'm always going for the kills. Is I go for marksman, and this is, I would say, an advanced model of perks system. I go for marksman and I go for ASP1 care. This is basically a one tap, uh, one tap solution, and this helps me a lot. Now the change appearance we will talk about shortly. Uh, basically, what you need to know is uh, if you're gonna go for a higher end of uh, high end of uh, armor, you can already know that it's gonna be a reduction of speed. So that means that. I can run with this character pretty fast because I have a plus 5 speed and my stamina is not going to be drained out so fast so that means I can flank people before they can realize that I already flanked them and the difference if we're going to take a really like EOD option because it's no it's actually EOD it's okay in a second sorry the spec ops now the spec ops is going to remove your 5% buff on speed it's gonna drain minus 5 and as you can see the stamina drain down below it's gonna kill your stamina fast you're slow that for you have to rethink from this cover to the next cover do I have enough stamina will I be able to outrun the bullets you can help out by pulling out by Nox each time you're running from one uh, one cover to another, but I would always go for a faster paced character than a slower one. So this is the thing that concludes my uh, tips how to get more money, more XP in single round or in multiple rounds or basically through all of your life. Um, I hope this helped you out. Well, no, I'm pretty sure this will help you out. I'm 100% sure this will help you out. Uh, please check me out on Twitch. I'm streaming whenever I have the time. I'm pretty sure you will not get bored by my streams. Uh, and that's it. I, this video is already too long. <laughs> Thanks a lot for uh, watching this. Make sure you hit thumbs up, no, like, whatever, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, so thank you, see you.